Hello isopod enthusiasts, Martin from Microvarium here. And in this video, we wanted to give you a closer look at one of our recent microhabitat designs. Some of you may recognize this particular Microvarium from when we shared it a few weeks back, when we asked what type of isopod you would put in here. We got a lot of great answers from the classic Cubaris rubber ducky, two less common species like the nice big and chunky Armadillidium frontirostri, or some awesome entry-level species like dairy cow and orange koi scaper. But one suggestion that stuck with us was a species with a beautiful range of light to dark shades of orange to uh, nicely contrast with the white limestone in this microvarium. And the head or the cephalothorax of, of this isopod, for those of you who want to be anatomically correct, is typically a darker brown to add an additional contrast, which make this species truly stand out. So at this point, you may already know that I'm talking about Kubaris surat thani, sometimes also called the Kubaris orange tiger. Like most Kibaris, they do like it nice and humid, so we are going to provide a nice wet area. So I'm going to add some dechlorinated water here because the sphagnum moss is pretty dry from since we set it up a few weeks ago. And now let's just go ahead and put our ice pots in. So we're also going to add some micrograzer staple, just a pinch, and we do like to put that on a seed pot, or in this case, I'm going to put it on the limestone area right here. Let's also add some micrograzer greens as our leaf chop mix to give these isopods a full banquet of food choices. Now, and just to be clear, this setup does have items that you will not find in our Isopod Lodge Habitat Kit that sells for $29.99. We do use the same base of micrograzer foundation and sphagnum moss, but instead of those seed pots and the core bark that come with that kit, we used some of our other products such as this limestone and the chola wood. And you can achieve something similar by getting our bare bones microvarium and customize it with all these different options we offer. Now we are currently brainstorming a more premium deluxe kit, if you will, that will be available in the future. So keep an eye out for that. So there you have it. Let us know what you think of this Kubari Saratani that we picked for this environment. We'll be back with an update on this habitat, so don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching.